Fuck Zach, let's get back to fucking the hotel. Mass. First Anna, then Becky, now Diane. It doesn't seem like we're very good I'm not looking forward Zach. to writing this investigation report. Yeah, you're probably gonna get fired. Agent Morgan. York. Do you have a moment? Yeah. What is it, George? There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Do you have any time later? Can't we just do it here? Well, yeah. If possible, I'd like to go to a bar. Of course, we don't really have to. A bar? Now that sounds like a good idea. What the f- uh... Zach, what do you think? We can go drinking with George, or turn him down and head back to the hotel. Well, Mike, uh, let's go for a drink. Yeah, let's do it! Let's get drunk with George! Please tell me that he says that he's a horrible human being and he's murdered these people. George, that scar on your cheek. Where did you get it? This? Didn't I tell you? Well, it's not from work. Well, you said... Yeah, I, I we talked I about kid. it and you said a you didn't want injury. any... To talk tree about climbing? your scars. I used to get a few scrapes myself climbing the big tree in our backyard. I used to climb it a lot. And fall out of it a lot. Am I on a date with George? <laughs> this wasn't anything like that, though. It was my mother. She did it. I'm sorry, George. Don't worry. It's ancient history. The world is flooded with unreasonable violence. The strong overpower the weak, adults over children, men over women, and criminals over their victims. Uh-huh. Right. I have no memories of my father. He left before I knew him. My mother would hit me every time I asked why. And it didn't stop there. Uh huh. If I ate too slow, left my shoes scattered around, TV volume too loud, she found reasons to hit me. Hit me bad. Right. The worst was what she called the tree punishment. She'd whip my back with these thin tree branches like a whip. Okay. Look at it! I thought she had two in her hand then. She was holding them like a pair of fucking katanas. How fucking sick would that be? Yeah, I just Tree saw punishment it. was definitely the worst, I tell you. Just hearing those words used to make me shiver and want to pass out. And that's why I didn't want to show you those scars on my back. Every time after the tree punishment, she'd always say the same thing. Uh-huh. This is hurting the tree more than it is hurting you. And me, being a naive, dumb kid, I believed her. I went to the woods to apologize to the trees. <laughs> uh, that's horrible. I'm sorry, trees. I kept asking myself, why is she hurting me this way? I just wanted I thought to, long I guess. Hard about it. In the end, I just figured I'm weaker than her. That's why. That's why you trained. It's the law of Mother Nature at work. Yeah, rules of nature. The strong eat the weak. But now, you have the power to protect the weak. That's right. Wait a minute. Perhaps I should thank my mother for guiding me into this line of work. Is George secretly Raiden from fucking Mal Gear Revengeance? Is this what it's all been building up to? He's just gonna rip off his clothes. He's gonna have a big old cyborg body. York. Yeah? I've been an arrogant fool, haven't I? I mean, you killed and two people. Me, both Becky and Diane. Yeah, yeah, still be alive. yes, they would. I 120% agree with that. You are a dumb fucking idiot. You know, it's almost like they died because of me. You're out of your mind. Fucking almost. I invited you to this bar for almost. a Almost. But I guess this bar is my confession chamber. And I wanted you to listen. And to tell you. Well. You must. Already hate me. For causing all these problems. Not following your orders. York. Is he holding my hand? He was I'm for a sorry. second there. You saw that, right? I'll follow your orders from now on. You guys saw that. You'll have my total cooperation. He blew cooperation. a kiss at me in episode like two. Or George. episode one. Now he's holding You've my hand. as cooperative as you can be. You even invited an FBI guy to a bar for drinks. You've done a good job protecting this town. And the folks here respect you for that. 
Nobody can blame you for anything. Everyone who was Thanks. there should blame him for everything. I do feel a little better. We saw it. He fucking killed both of those people. It was his fault. Okay. What are we done now? Since we're here, why don't you talk to a few other people? I'll just finish off my drink. Okay. Let me know before you leave, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna drive you home. I'm a great drunk driver. Hello? Hey, Carol. Becky is dead. <laughs> Diane, too. Yeah? We've got Nick in custody as a suspect. <laughs> Becky is dead. Nick didn't do it. Wait. Wh uh, what the- hell. The glass! You saw Carol. it! You took a locket from Diane, didn't you? A locket with this mark on it. Meh. How do you know that? How could you possibly know that? I'm busy, gotta go. Oh shit! But... Uh, why are you smiling? She just completely pied you off! You got ghosted! Jesus Christ. Oh, for fuck's sake. That dude in the background looks a little bit like Nick. Oh, God. This is so poorly dubbed. Seriously, guys, did they just not vet any of the voice acting for this entire video game, basically? Why the ball on its side? You see that shit? Uh huh. Yeah. Dream of pee. Okay. Even you looks like you hearing this shit. And George was like, Yeah, I know, we just sort of let her do it, I guess. She's not doing anyone any harm. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what now? You done? No? Yeah? Good. Yeah, she just walked off stage. She was like, yeah, fuck it. Everyone's silent. Oh, there we go. <laughs> like, two people clapped. Because they all knew. They were all like, wow, it was just terrible, man. Is anyone else here, or is it literally just corral? Um. You're very clearly playing that piano, sir. Also, why the fuck is this microphone going? Okay. Who cares? I'm sorry, guys. I'm nitpicking to shit. I know. Can't help it. You gonna talk to me now? Brother's at the sheriff's department, isn't he? Poor guy. Having to watch over Nick. We didn't even do anything. Right? Wait, are you just literally not gonna speak to me? Is that all you have to say after you just completely pied me off and said that you had to go? Fucking... Just, York, just grill here! You literally have every right! You're an FBI agent! Just tell him fucking you come with me, sunshine! We're gonna go into this fucking bathroom, you're gonna tell me shit! Oh no. Ah, oh, come on then, let's just. 
I have a feeling I forgot something, Zach. Oh, yeah, I have to go and tell George that we're fucking leaving, apparently. George, beat up this- kill this woman accidentally! George, come and knock her into the fucking cup so she impales her face on it, or some shit. Sorry to keep you waiting, boys. Special beam cannon! Zack, Emily is already a goddess of the forest. What? Let's forget work for a bit and drink a little, shall we? I guess. York? Why is she here? I don't know. I just thought the more the merrier. You know, to relax and get loose. Is this a problem? No, of course not. Pardon me, Emily, but I'm pooped. I think I'll just call it a night. Wow. Why is she here? Is I this an issue? I just got here and you're walking out on me? Would you I was like... hoping the three of us could have a drink and let out a little steam. Oh god. No, I'm just gonna I'm afraid I've touch my kidney. Enough. I'm gonna massage my I kidney had a good man to man with York. So I'll see you guys. Okay. So now it's just me and Ameli. Hello? Why I think is George likes you? But he's avoiding you all at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> How astute. There's a reason? Nothing worth going into. It's a thing of the past. <sighs> Just drink my fucking tea. Yeah, I'm drinking with the boys. <laughs> okay. Nom, he nom, did nom. ask me out when I first came to town. Isn't he like... I was still in high school. In his... Isn't he older than but you? But I never really considered him my type. And there's the age gap thing, too. Yeah. I respect him, of course. If he's in, if you're in high school, otherwise. and he's asking you out as a police officer, that's a little so bit like, mmm. Of course not. I came with my parents. Tell me about them, then. Please. Sure, why not? My dad dealt in stocks in New York. How interesting. He was hardly at home when I was a kid. Always working. Uh-huh. Those pieces of paper were far more important to him than I was. Which is no different now, really. I, I don't see much How are own. you floating above your stool? My mother? Totally Emily, different. Emily, how are you doing that? A wonderful person that I still She's, respect. like, stood and, like, hanging over the actual seat. She was seat. always kind and understanding. I don't want to put Not my only that, dress. but she would always help me find my way. She could be fierce, too. Scolding me. Why are you I just sat there the with your step. eyes? She fell asleep. We had our Emily? battles, sure. Oh. Oh. All in all, she was a wonderful mother. Okay. Past tense? She died. Yeah, she's gone now. Cancer, just before I graduated high school. Oh. She gave this to me just before she died. I take it with me wherever I go. Yeah, she gave me it's my hand. I treasure most. My second hand. What the fuck is that? Is it a leaf? I'm sure she's very proud of you. Okay. Kiss! No? Okay. Why is it called the Galaxy of Terror? I had a it sounds good like time a fucking... tonight. Good night. It doesn't sound like a bar. See you tomorrow. Sounds more like a fucking... York. Haunted attraction. Yes. What? Hello? Please. Don't lie to us, okay? Who is us? I won't. Don't worry. I won't. Okay? Yeah, just take one swig of your fucking cigarette and then put it straight into your fucking cigarette holder, obviously. My god. This guy. This guy. Where the fuck is that? Well, I'm gonna go check that out, I guess. Where's my car? Hello? Is that my car? It might be. I'd like my car, please. I think I have the same car as him, though, actually. So, shit. Do I have to go back and buy it again? Are you fucking serious? Where is it trying to tell me to go? 
Back to the deer. Yeah, great deer. Well, I'll just fast travel there then. Just got a random fucking almost broken katana in my pack. I might throw that shit away or use it once. Uh, let's see. Where is it even? Oh, here it is. Great deer. Yard hotel. Let's go and. George, you've been drinking, man. No wonder you're screeching all over the place. Thanks for dropping me off, though. Bye. Oh, for fuck's sake. Great. Even more sitting around and talking. It's just what we wanted, right? No? Just sit around? No talking? Yes. Zach, let's go over our progress. From what Olivia told us, and the sketchbook we found at Becky's house, mm -hmm. Nick and Diane became our primary suspects. And then neither of them were. There but were I don't- Why instances. were they? Okay, First, please. First, Becky gave the missing locket to Diane. Okay, so? Also, Nick has no okay. alibi for when Anna and Becky were killed. Okay. We followed Nick to the art gallery. None of those things really us, add up. Unfortunately, to our third victim. Who was the third victim? Probably already Diana, dead, and also Nick was unconscious was on the floor. The entrance hall of the art gallery. Her hands were tied. Did he just pass out? Like, chest. no, it wasn't. However, there was a marked difference from the previous crimes. Do you remember what that was, Zach? I just got up and wouldn't shut the fuck up. Uh... I don't know. It was right after the crime, I guess? That's right. Diane was still alive. Right? This suggests that very little time had passed since the crime was committed. But so was Becky. Which means the criminal was still close by. Becky was still alive when we went there too, though. What are you talking about? Nick was knocked out in the entrance. George. Zach, who was the other person in the gallery? Oh no, Kason. But he was locked away as well. Yeah, it was Harry. He was busting rhymes. That's right, Kason. We followed Willie, good dog, all the way to him. Willie, good dog. Kaysen's statement came out as follows. He and Diane were in a physical relationship. That was why he visited the gallery. But he was locked in a thing from the outside. The you said so yourself. Such a meeting when Nick showed up. Diane lost her cool and shut Kaysen up in the Gab locked him in for some reason instead of just hiding him in there. What did Kaysen hear when he was locked up? Booties. Big old man boots. What the fuck is that? Ah! Sorry. That's what the dog sounds like. He's like, oh! You see, you remember that really like what's it called? Nick was one of the guys that. screaming or something like that. Which means it was likely that Diane met with Nick in her room. Nick said he argued verbally with Diane about her playing around with men. Right. But they eventually decided to go out drinking to make up. Okay. However, immediately after that, Nick was attacked by someone in the entrance hall and knocked unconscious. So it wasn't him. So why did you arrest him then if you know all of this? What? Zach, do you think that Nick no. was a serial killer? You, uh, how are you coming to this conclusion afterwards? Eh. No. No. I don't Me think too. so. Asha sent in a report too. He found a large volume of red seeds in Diane's Well, yeah, head. she was fucking spitting them like rhymes. This confirms her as a victim of the raincoat killer. Remaining leads. There is the locket, which is in Carol's possession. Okay. It's not really a lead, but yeah. The man with the tattooed back and the upside-down peace sign. Even though none of those are leads, because what? where There's are we going to... to There's, there are, they're just I clues. The they're not leads. more guidance tomorrow. So, we've been here for like, what, four, five days now? Three, four, five days? He's like, why are you above the covers now? You're Zach, just... what did you think about George pouring his heart out? I'm what a surprised. Loser. It's the end of a monarchy. 
But he hasn't learned anything this entire time that he's been here. He called me York instead of Agent Morgan. Hmm. Is he coming to seduce me? George, is that you? George? Oh. Emily? What's going on? Do you know what time it is? Yeah, fuck off. Um, I'm sorry. I I couldn't sleep, so I was drinking alone. Well, okay. My mother was a very kind woman. She always smiled so brightly. Baked cakes and cookies every day. Every day. She'd Jesus. say that I needed the sugar because I spent so much time thinking. That's sweet. My father was always quiet. We never talked much. He was a federal agent, just like me. And he was hardly ever at home. Right. The only words he ever had for me were harsh ones. I had a vivid imagination, and I remember he once said this to me. There are plenty of crazy things in this world. You don't have to go dreaming them up. And it's my job to make sense out of them. Yeah. One day you'll understand what I'm saying. But I yeah. Later that my father was one of the first to ever use criminal profiling to catch bad guys. What? And so now I'm doing exactly the same job that he did. Why? Like father, like son. I thought you just said you hate your dad. something. Shoot. Mind if it's something personal? Fire away. What's with all these shooting analogies? Who's Zach? Uh. <laughs> um. Zach is a friend of mine. Oh, so you do have friends. Why are you yeah. laughing at me? He's my only friend. What kind of person is he what then? The seen his face but he's always with me and we discuss everything so you're schizophrenic then when did you become friends a long time ago back when i was a child so why did you never like go to a doctor about that did you guys hear in the background him still tapping his chest listen see I mean, it's not showing it now, but you I know was I mean. seven. Do you see that glass on the f Oh, it's okay, that was on the floor. I woke up one morning to hear my mother crying in the living room. This wasn't normal, so I headed in to see her. My father was there pointing a gun at my mother. I was so scared. I closed my eyes. It looks like he's grumpy, so not I, upset. I don't remember much more. But I do remember the words my father said to me. At said, times we must hold my beer. purge things from this world because they should not exist. Even if it means losing someone that you love. Hold my beer, Shad. I'm gonna execute you, Bob. When I came back to my senses, they were both dead. Oh. He shot I my mother, myself. then killed himself. Oh, I'm so sorry. What a hero. Don't worry about it. What an Zach's hero. It was around that time that we became friends. I'm here. I'm with you, he said. I'll be here always. We can get through this together. Okay. Quite aside from that terrible scene in front of me, that voice seemed to make me calmer. Yeah, it's called, um... What's that and thing called? We are. Disassociation. Working together. Getting through things. You have like disassociative this identity disorder. This is the first time disorder. I've ever told anyone about this. I wonder if Zach will get angry. <sighs> That's a sad story. And you're also fucking crazy. But I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but. But. I'm sure there was a reason for what your father did. Right. I know. I think maybe I became an agent to find out why he did what he did. There you go, then. Ahem. Oh, oh yeah, York, I, I forgot to thank you. Thank me? For what? 
saving my life. You, you saved speared, my life. Yeah, you speared it out of the way of the fucking falling If you didn't save me at the gallery, I would have died match. along with Diane. Yeah. No need to thank me for that. I'm pretty useless. I couldn't save Becky. Yeah, because you're save too busy fucking lollygagging around. What did you just say? Useless? <laughs> Mudada! I was never expecting to hear you say that. Huh. There might be a modest guy in you after all. Finally, you noticed? You're a little slow, aren't you? <laughs> Maybe hopeless, <laughs> but not useless. Zach, do you think Emily got home safely? Yes. Anyway, I think it's drunk. more serious of a situation than more I thought. More people driving when drunk. This is just the driving when drunk episode. Our conversation with Emily. Yeah. She's really interested in you. I think she's starting to have certain feelings for you. What? If that's the case, Zach, you and I are rivals. Oh. This is a very serious situation indeed. Yeah, I saw it back that one time, well, and it that was that, it. Let it be a fair fight. Agreed? Oh, man. Thomas! 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 Let me out of here! Come on, please! Why is he echoing? Just for a moment. One second. I know you're there. Come on, please. Why are you echoing? How are you echoing? Thomas, teach me how to do that. Thomas, 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 Thomas. Thomas. Okay. And then the tank engine just fucking busts through the wall like da -da 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 -da. No, that'd be fucking hilarious though. What the fuck? What? Oh but Where's the next Nicholas? Upside down peace boy symbol. Oh, for fuck's sake. What's it gonna be? Yeah! 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 Damn fucking straight that that was the fucking highlight! Oh my god, I fucking hate those things! What horrible, worthless pieces of shit they are. Fuck me. Fuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuu
Bye. The fuck? Oh, look, it's mummy. Look, look carefully, boy. Boy. At no, times, we must carefully, purge boy. things from this world because they should not exist. Well, I forgot to go get the propane Even tanks. Even if it means losing someone that you love. So now, I have to punish her. I do. I tell you what. Is she dead or is she a gooba? I thought I saw it like being twitchy. She's gonna get up like. <laughs> ah! Ah! <gasps> Jesus Christ, look how thick that quilt is, man. Is that it? <laughs> oh, Jesus. What's the motherfucking coffee gonna say or do? Mr. Morgan, do you want a refill? Yes. Thank you. Yes. No, don't take the cup away. Is Just... the coffee that good, Mr. Morgan? Coffee is a vital investigative tool. I know exactly what to do now. Harry. You see it says Harry? We have to go to we need to go and see Harry. He needs to rhyme stuff. He needs to bust some rhymes. It says to hurry. And the first letter of each line is H A R R Y. Hurry, hurry. hurry. Looks like the time that he was talking about has come. Have the, but what? Let's go pay the problematic rich boy who owns half of the town a visit. Let us. Polly. I think I'm going to go see Harry today. Why are you telling him? Oh, really? He's a little strange, but I think he's the most trustworthy one around here. What? I think you'll have fun with him. If you say so, Polly, then we probably will. Of course! Mm -hmm. Now, give me your cup, and I'll give you some more coffee. No! Just pour it into the cup! No, fuck that. Am I I'll done? see you later, Polly. But I just made coffee. Mr. Morgan, what about the coffee? Don't you want a refill? Your coffee. What? But what? Did you make it just for? Did he ask for it? And then you just made it, and then he's like, "No, bye." Nice and more full up. That's great. Person. Hey, am I still a suspect? Yes. No. No? Okay, well, good. My wife and I have been living separately for over three years now. So? Diane, she's a single woman, so this shouldn't be a problem. That's true. I feel so bad for Diane, though. Gosh, did, did you find out who did it? I can't discuss that. Yes, of course. I, I understand. You don't have to tell any of the folks around town about me and Diane, do you? Not no, yet. I won't do that. But it's a small town. I'm sure the rumors have started already. Nothing to be ashamed of, right? What's there to worry about? Hmm. Nothing in particular. No, nothing at all. I, I'm clean. As clean as the sheets in this hotel. Okay. What's with that look? We don't have a problem, right? Not right this second. It looks like Kaysen is involved with another woman in town. How do you know? We can only hope it isn't Emily. What makes you th But, what? Oh, because he does- What? What the fu- Oh! <laughs> Oh my god, that's amazing. Talk to me. Kason, how would you do that? You! 
Yeah, of course he's all wobbly when he fucking talks. That's his titties wobbling around. That's how he talks. Okay. Well, that was useful. That was super useful. Right, how much items do we have? For... Fuds. Got two of them, two of them. Yeah, we're good on items, I think. We are Gucci. Gucci-saurus.